heard the explosion go off and then I walked out and I just saw the building just flames shooting everywhere. Now at six, the investigation into this weekend's massive explosion in Columbia City continues, an event that leveled a building and claimed a man's life. Still no official cause known tonight. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Fort Wayne's NBC News at 6. I'm Linda Jackson. And I'm Tom Powell. Fort Wayne's NBC News reporter Jeff Newmeyer joins us live from the site with new accounts from residents who were too close for comfort. Yeah, Tom, Linda, an old warehouse used to be standing back here. Of course, uh, you wouldn't know it by looking at the burned out remains of the building. The explosion bent or broke garage doors and shattered windows nearby. Now, Indiana State Police reported Saturday that it appeared to stem from a natural gas leak and that there's nothing new to suggest otherwise. The state fire marshal's office, however, telling me at 2 o'clock today it's still working on an official cause. It happened about 9 a.m. Saturday. The blast felt, in some cases, several miles away. Flames shot up into the air. We're told there was a pet shop being remodeled in the in the uh, front of the building, I'm told members of a motorcycle club were using space in the rear of the building, and that's where the man who, who died was found. Three people, uh, for sure, according to state police, were in or around the building at the time. Two people uh, escaped with minor injuries, and one man was trapped inside, could not be rescued. Neighbors showed us damage done to their properties. One resident told me he has more, or he was more than startled by that original concussion. And after running out to see what happened, he heard a scream for help coming from the fire. I was in my living room, and I put my hair went phew, like this. And, and we had a couple windows open, but it was strong enough to pull my hair back. But yeah, it's it just something you see on the news and, not, and to see it in real life. I don't ever want to. I hope I ever, ever see it again. I know I'll never, I'll ne that scream will be stuck with me forever. Just the fire and the intensity was just crazy and like nothing I've ever seen. And then my neighbor came over and they got their windows blown, our window was blown, our blinds got knocked off, our um, screens got kicked, knocked in. From what we're kind of piecing together, it looks like kind of the explosion maybe went more upward than outward. So in that way, that definitely could have helped in a lot of ways when it comes to collateral damage and things to that effect. Um, certainly, certainly a terrible event. State police say the flames were too hot to allow a rescue attempt of the man trapped inside. No positive identification yet on the victim who couldn't be saved. Tomlin were told the posit or the ID process could take longer than normal, given the tremendous amount of fire uh, damage that you see here at the scene. Yeah, definitely so sad to hear those accounts from those neighbors who were so close. Jeff Newmeyer reporting live tonight. Jeff, thank you.